Hello, I'm Nancy Forster, the Executive Director of the National EFT Training Institute, here today with one of our esteemed graduates, Georgia Barnwell. And uh, Georgia is from energyfortransformation.com. And I'm super excited about this, Georgia. Thank you so much. I, I think this is going to be not just an interesting uh, video for people, but also very, very powerful as we intertwine some really fundamental concepts of conscious EFT as the National Institute uh, teaches with all this beautiful wealth of experience that, that you have. So let's, let's start, I think, start with reinforcement of this concept of safety in the biology. Yes, and safety in the biology is something I had never experienced didn't even know it existed until I had the, the pleasure and the privilege of meeting a, with a number of shamanic groups in both Ontario and at Nova Scotia. Mm -hmm. And I had this kind of new feeling. Yeah. You know, I felt present and my face was relaxed and it was easy to connect with people. It was easy to speak my truth. I didn't feel judged. And then after learning about conscious EFT and the nervous system, I realized, oh my God, that feeling in my body was safety. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so. I, yeah. <laughs> so you know, the um, Dr. Stephen Porges's work, right, with the nervous system and teaching us all about this hierarchy of defense, of defensive strategies in the body and where we get stuck there. And okay. then ultimately, if we're very lucky, we, we find communities, we find techniques and strategies where we begin to discover that beautiful social engagement neuroceptive safety in the body right yes it's a real blessing and and uh, a real awakening yeah, yeah it's the it's, core right of everything that feeling is what we need to reconnect to when we have you know gone off track yeah yeah and it is as the the more years i spend in this work and my own personal work as well as training professionals is that if we don't have a strategy to help a nervous system find safety in the moment, then that nervous system is going to continue to seek for it, seek for it, seek for it, seek for it. And it will take away the possibilities of growth. Yes. Yeah. So first and foremost, we, we stay with safety. We support safety. We find strategies and techniques, including conscious EFT, that will promote safety in the body. That's so right. You were going to talk to us about external orientation. Yeah. So as, uh, as we know with the conscious EFT, when someone gets dysregulated, we want to stop. Yeah. We want to bring people back to the present moment. We want to have them orient externally to the space they're in, mm -hmm. to feel their body supported by the chair, standing on the floor. Those are all biological cues that start opening up again that feeling of safety. Yeah, it's so important what you've said. You know, I've been in the therapy and coaching world for 35, 40 years, and it's all about focus internally, focus internally, focus internally. And the truth is that there's not safety inside. And so as you say that, we have to recognize that there are going to be times where the intervention of choice is to bring the focus outside to the environment and literally come back to our senses, right? Our sight, our hearing, our smell, our touch, all of that ways that the environment is giving us signals of safety right here right now yes and then when we can connect to that then we can relate to it from an inner place yeah and then it makes it more safe to go inside again yeah the beautiful 
in, con in conscious CFT, we talk about oscillation, right? That beautiful oscillation between external and internal, external and internal, really following the rhythms of the biology. And then in comes your particular unique experiences where I love how you uh, say this, that this may seem like new information to some of us, but it's not new information. Not a bit. Certainly, probably the world over, communities and cultures have spent time in a circle doing what we might call shamanic or energetic work. Mm -hmm. And the, just a simple practice of calling in a circle mm. or with a group or by yourself really establishes our orientation. It establishes our safety and our connection to each other. Oh, our connection to ourselves, our connection to each other, our connection to our ancestors, our connection to our culture, to our world. You know, our connection to all that is. What and that, that's incredibly important because that deepens that biological safety that we feel inside. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's really amazing. Now that I think of that work and the experiences that I've had, I can see it from a, a polyvagal theory perspective. <laughs> Exactly. The, the social engagement and the practices that you do inside a circle and maybe the singing and dancing, those are all somatic um, reinforcements of that place that we want to be in our nervous system. Yeah, exactly. This beautiful integration of age old wisdom with this new theory coming out and, and how delightful it is that they're actually the same thing. Right? It's like we've known it all along, and now we're just beginning to understand what we've actually known yeah. all along. Yeah. Look, <laughs> we're finally coming home to what we've already known. Exactly, right? What What is that famous Ram Dass quote, right? We're all walking each other home. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know you put together a, like a really beautiful PowerPoint for us. Is this a good time to work our way through that? Sure, why not? It's just a little bit of a, a framework. I am privileged enough to have a lot of artist friends and I have a room where I have some art to kind of guide me around the circle and bring me, bring me beauty and new insights. So I'm just going to share these. Yeah. The other thing I want to say is that, oh gosh, the world over, there are many different ways of calling in the circle and the attributes that I might um, talk about for say one direction or one element may not be the same the world over. So this is not set in, it's not set in stone. Right, right. This is the, these are the, the, the attributes of the circle as I've experienced them right. with people I've worked with. That's beautiful. Thank you. Let me just pull up the PowerPoint. <laughs> just give me a second here. And... Uh, oh, that's the one. There we go. You can see that, Georgia, okay? Pretty good, yeah. It's great. So I'm just going to, I'm going to hide myself so that on the video people can see you and hear you. And I'll just tell me when you're ready and I'll move the slide forward. Okie dokie. Let's just start here in the east which is a place of new beginnings. The element is air. And the, the action is breath. Mm. So this is a lovely place to start the morning. The color is yellow in many traditions. And not only is it morning and new beginnings, it's starting something new, it's a fresh perspective, and the air is light. It raises us up to see higher perspectives, and it works with the mind. Mm. And so welcoming in the East 
is a lovely spot in the morning. And this is a painting by a friend of mine, Eliza Skierman, who is a brilliant artist. And this, to me, brought all the attributes of the East. So I'm lucky to see this every morning. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the next one, Nancy. And we go clockwise around the circle. And this is what I've chosen to represent the South. The South is noon. The element is fire. It's connected to spirit. And this picture I love from a perspective of both the indigenous um, cultures will talk about all my relations and all of my relations and all of my parts are held in this beautiful um, graphic. And so this is where we come together around the sacred spark. We come together with all of our parts and all of our relations. And the fire can, uh, can ignite our cleansing, can burn away those things that we don't need, but it can also bring inspiration, creativity, and it can illuminate how to move forward in the way that we want. Mm -hmm. oh, let's go to the next one, Nancy. And this is West. This is Water. Water is very deep. It has deep, deep wisdom. It flows through us and around us. This is the west or the afternoon or the maturity of some project that we've engaged in. And the water nourishes us. It is connected to emotion. And we're just in Pisces season. So we're knowing we're in that watery emotional period of the year right now. And the color for that, for some reason, is black. Mm -hmm. And the water can shape us. As we know, it's a very strong force. And so it can shape us the way we want to be if we use its energy. It can soothe our suffering, it can wash away our pain, and it can tickle us with its joy. <laughs> tickle us with its joy. <laughs> I, and I think of the, um, you know, the sun sparkling on the water as it's dancing over rocks. <laughs> right. And this is the north. And that is connected to the earth, to the physical realm night winter it's connected to the ancestors and that from this place we receive guidance and teachings the earth holds us in safety and gratitude and when we can ground in this place we're enriched and connected certainly beyond ourselves to the ancestors and unseen helpers. Mm -hmm. And next slide, Nancy. And this is a graphic of the great world tree. So we've started with the four directions, east, south, west, and north, but we also have above, which is the sky, the stars, the universe, and below, which is our roots in the earth. So some cultures would call in the great world tree as an example of standing in my heart, in the trunk of the tree, rooted in the earth, connected above. And other cultures might talk about calling in above, below, and within. It's all the same, and it's whatever feels good in the moment. But I love the image of the great world tree. Let's go to the next one, Nancy. And now that we've called in all of these seven directions, we need to call in the children because we know from Stephen Porges and from ancient wisdom that we learn and function best through play. 
So the children bring in innocence and joy and play. Mm -hmm. And so that would complete our circle. And that's, again, just an example of how we might create something meaningful for ourselves. Beautiful. I uh, bring myself on screen here. Georgia, oh, thank you so much. I'm just um, moved to tears at the combination of the art, the beauty of the art together with the vastness of the connections available to us as human beings. I was, as I was listening to you, just doing some basic, what we call at nefty bronze tapping, and just could feel this sense of, of safety in my biology, just growing and growing and growing. Yeah, and this is how we can reinforce it, because we know we are more than just our physical body. We know we are connected to all patients. And so by intentionally bringing in these elements, these inspirations, or the, these, these metaphors, it really helps us to build something stronger inside. Yeah, I love, I mean, what's one of the things I love about your work at Energy for Transformation is how you're using the principles of conscious EFT, which is fundamentally about safety first, safety before any kind of um, direction around growth. And how you recognize that for us today, especially in the Western world, we often don't have safety in our family systems when we're growing up, right? There's a lot of cultural conditioning that doesn't support family systems and safety within them. And it is so powerful to recognize that family is not the only place we can access safety in our biology. And, and That's right. Your work is so profound at bringing forward this I, idea of the greater concept of safety and connection. So I know that we are going to be privileged to actually watch you call in a circle for yourself in the next video that you and I are doing uh, for the moment, then we'll, we'll wrap up this part one of the video and, and invite people to come back and find a <laughs> part two, where we'll do an actual experience of this. Uh, meanwhile, you can connect with Georgia through her website, energy transformation.com. And if you're excited uh, as a professional, therapist coach a wellness practitioner and you and you want to study how to really reinforce this uh, concept of safety with conscious eft then our website is nefti.com n e f t t i.com thank you georgia very much looking forward to our it's next talking with you yeah.